Hey everyone, Jason here from Off The Beaten Path and today's video is from an afternoon trip in our local area so I headed out with Mark in his Colorado uh, to explore a little bit of the Chilton Mount Pilot National Park and the El Dorado State Forest around El Dorado. So it's one of the great things about living where we do is um, we've got access to four-wheel drive tracks within 20 minutes um, of uh, literally our front door which is which is just great um, so at the start here we've headed west out of Wodonga and uh, this is part of the Chilton Mount Pilot National Park um, most of this area is fairly flat but uh, there is the odd decent little climb most of these tracks in here aren't too challenging although there are a few that uh, will give you brief in the in the right conditions and are a little more challenging than you might expect. But um, no, it was just a great day to be uh, out and about exploring the local area a little more than we have done because oftentimes we head off to the the Vic High Country and other iconic destinations that are not too far away, and you don't always spend the time that you should exploring your own backyard. through here this area has as you can tell been affected by bushfires in the past but I don't believe it was affected by the, the recent 2019 uh, 2020 bushfires um, I don't believe they came this close to uh, Aubrey Wodonga these tracks in here don't don't look like they get a lot of traffic from the, the shot there it was uh, blue skies and sunshine cracking day to be out on the tracks checking things out a little bit of loss of traction there climbing up this hill but uh, nothing uh, a little bit more pressure on the right foot doesn't solve so I think this track we came in on for anyone who happens to be local to the area I think that's the quarry track it's called um, comes directly off um, the, um, the road there that bounds the uh, eastern side. Um, you access it from the uh, Cook and Dinner Road, Dinner Road if you know the area. Um, so our plan here was basically to head through the Chilton Mount Pilot National Park on the south side of the freeway, which is where we're going now, and then make our way down towards Beechworth. And then before getting to Beechworth, we, uh, we turn and head west um, past the Woolshed Falls which is well worth checking out if you're in the area particularly if there's been some rain recently it's very accessible off the main road uh, and then from Woolshed Falls uh, into the Eldorado State, State Forest uh, to check out a few of the tracks there and uh, a little bit more exploring As you can see, certainly in this section of the Chilton Mount Pilot National Park, the, the tracks are pretty easy going. Um, nice wide gravel tracks, um, pretty much uh, two wheel drive. In fact, I think I am in two wheel drive here for this first section. So, as I said, yeah, we've uh, we headed out of there down the bitumen for a couple of k's down to uh, the El Dorado State Forest. Now this track here is a CFA track which if you watch the videos on my channel you've seen before but today was a much better day for filming um, and you get a much better view of the track so I have included this uh, even though this particular section of track you, you will have seen before if you follow my videos. Um, it's steeper than the video gives you credit for um, and there's a few decent washouts and it's a little bit loose on the surface at times. You can see the car just sliding back down into the rut there. And this rise has a has a decent rut chewed out of it. You you either need to go to the left or the right and span it, or you're probably going to bottom out.
came this way for um, Mark to get some practice in his Colorado driving tracks a little more technical. So this is the uh, this is the same same thing you just saw, but in the Pajero with the, the GoPro footage rather than the external footage there that Mark shot for me. So you can you can get a good view of the track and see the, the loose rocks there and the various ruts. It's not a super difficult track to drive, but um, it does require that you think a little bit about your wheel placement and uh, where your vehicle's going. You can see here there's a decent rut there. We've just spanned over the top of that. And then from there it's just a straight run up to the top. CFA tanker actually make it up there because it is pretty steep. Um, so Mark's getting ready now for, uh, to bring the Colorado up. A little bit of track building there. Reorganisation of the, the rocks on the track. By this time he's, he's accumulated an audience down the bottom there as well which you can probably see in the in the distance in the shot there. So he's starting off well, picking his line. He's had a good chance to look over the track, so he's, he's got, a, got an idea of where he needs to go. And he's taken quite a good line there, span, span that rut. And if he'd kept coming straight there, I think he would have driven straight up, but he turned to the left and he ended up with both wheels in a hole. And that has kind of got him stuck. You can see the front wheels there just spinning, back wheels also spinning. He just can't get enough traction to actually lift the front up. I think I think his bull bar was actually hitting on the rock. Um, and I was calling out to him at this point. The audio didn't come through for some reason, but uh, letting him know just to reverse and left hand down and he'd be good as gold. That's why the, that's why the camera's moving around a little bit. Um, but he's decided just to jump out and have a look for himself, which is not a bad idea at all. You know, at the end of the day, you're the one behind the wheel. You need to be comfortable that you understand where your vehicle's going and, and what's going on with it. And he is, he is still running his stock suspension, so he doesn't have a lift, so doesn't have as much clearance as he would have once he gets that two inch lift kit installed. So, yep, just motioning there what the plan is. Basically, come forward on left hand down. And see there, he's straightening the tyres up. That's it! Straight up! Straighten it up, right hand down, yep. That's it, keep coming, keep coming, you're good. And on that line there, he's just made it straight up. Now pick your line for this next section, whether you're going left or right. Okay. So he's opted to go to the right, his right. That's it. Stay away from that rock. It's a good bit of practice from in the Colorado there with something a little more technical. They're quite a capable vehicle, the Colorados. From there we headed um, along the CFA track, which I didn't include a lot of footage from because you have seen this before from a trip back in June. Uh, it's quite a scenic little track, rocky in sections, um, borders on some farmland and uh, it was certainly a lot more overgrown this time so I really don't think it gets a lot of traffic, particularly this end of it where that, uh, that hill climb is. I think um, a lot of people turn around and don't actually make the climb up that section. Yeah, the 
little section here is a little bit steeper and rutted than it looks on camera. drink and something to eat and um, we found this track and I thought it was the back way into the main campsite and as it turns out it wasn't but it was still a nice little bike down to the river. So we just came down that track we thought it linked up to the main area but uh, that's the track just over there, not so much. There's Mark's car, here's the campsite. And we've pulled up just near the El Dorado Creek here. Certainly wor worst places to stop for an afternoon break. ready to go in for a swim although it uh, wouldn't have been a bad day for it so th this is just heading back out the track we just came in on there's a bit of a loop there and theoretically could have gone out the other way but that was just even more overgrown and had a massive big rut running down the middle of the track and I don't need any more panel damage than I've already managed to achieve so yeah we just headed out the way that we came in A sandy clay base to this track so I could see when it's uh, when it's wet it would certainly get softer you can see the erosion down the middle of the track there from the water running down but it's just a short run back out here to the main track there's a few of these little side tracks along here uh, they all sort of lead down to various little campsites along the river that are, are not necessarily marked campsites a nice little side trip to uh, explore and from there we did find the back track because I've seen this track before when I've been at the main campsite down near the river crossing down here um, so after that we did find this track uh, and again this is a little bit of a, a more technical sort of uh, section with a few rock steps and I'll keep saying this but the GoPro really doesn't do it justice um, I should I should have gotten out and uh, set up the uh, the camera for some some external footage here. I have to go back when I've got a cameraman with me and um, shoot these rock steps in this little section. It's great having stuff like this pretty close to home where you can just practice your wheel placement and practice driving some of these rock steps and and tighter tracks. Easing it slowly down. I always seem to manage to hit the rear bar, but didn't this time, fortunately. You can see there we've got some low hanging branches and some rocks in the middle of the track. They're not particularly high rocks, so not a, not a clearance issue. Times like this, I'm glad to have the roof racks on the roof. section here with the trees on the side and you come to the last sort of rock step you can see somebody's camping down there next to the river so that's the one of the main camping areas right along the river and it's not too far from one of the main river crossings that is set up as a bit of a ford so yeah I've never actually driven this little section of track before I've seen it from the campground side but um, last time I was here and saw it I, I lost a couple of screws on one of my bash plates and it was already hanging down so I didn't want to try and drive any rock steps or anything
reasonably snug little track with some rocks either side there. So again, good good for practicing wheel placement and sp speed control. And from there, so we headed down to the main crossing, which is um, set up as basically a concrete spillway, so the, the river flows across it. At this sort of depth it's not so much of an issue but you, you definitely don't want to be putting your wheels off the side of it that's for sure either side really but it uh, makes for a nice easy crossing so from here the plan was to head um, north through Chilton Mount Pilot National Park State Forest um, largely we're on what's called the kangaroo track which winds its way through most of this section near El Dorado. Again, not a particularly difficult track, um, just a nice afternoon drive out, out and about. And from here we're heading north to Mount Barambogi, which um, is sort of the, the poor cousin. Everybody uh, knows about uh, Mount Pilot in the Chilton Mount Pilot National Park, but there is also a fire tower on Mount Barambogi, um, the poor cousin, if you will. do see the tracks in this area are, um, with a fair bit of erosion on them there they've got a little bit of clay but largely sand so um, it doesn't take too much water for the erosion to start taking place um, now I had heard along the kangaroo track that there was a, a side track which we've just found here um, that those looking for a little bit more adventure um, do tackle so we thought we'd have a look as it turned out, uh, there's a little bit more adventure to be had there than I'm willing to tackle at this stage. Love to see someone drive it. But that's the track there, so we did get out and have a good look at it. Preferring our panels straight, we elected not to have a crack at this one. Well, we want someone to show us how to do it first. As you can see, this ladder section up here is just rock step after rock step after rock step. And there's a few sections where as your left side goes up, the car's going to roll over and uh, possibly hit rocks on the side of the track. So yeah, we decided discretion was the better part of Vela there and left that one for people in single cab utes with plenty of bar work and big tyres. And just continued making our way along the kangaroo track and heading north uh, towards Mount Barambogi. And there's a little more elevation than you kind of expect to find. We tend to think of the area as being fairly flat. So this was a little bit of a rise with um, some ruts. Not super challenging, but a little bit more interesting than what we've been driving so far. I'd definitely say, look, all these tracks, you know, in here, apart from the one that we didn't drive, they're all pretty much. Uh, and, and I guess excluding that section on the CMA track, they're all fairly beginner sort of four-wheel drive tracks. Um, always follow the motto that if you, you're not confident, don't try and drive it. Turn around, you can always come back another day. This is that uh, same section of road with Mark driving in his Colorado. I think he ends up choosing a better line than what I chose, going a little wider, and it makes it look pretty easy.
Slow and steady often wins the race, so no risk of losing traction there. He's very steady on the throttle control. I think we're both running our tyres at this point at just uh, 25 psi. It's not super low pressures or anything, but just gives you a little bit more of a comfy ride. Again, we've hit one of those sandy sections that's been eroded a fair bit by the water. Rock here. And from here, yeah, we're heading north, about to cross over this um, access road here. Back from the El Dorado State Forest, back into the Chilton Mount Pilot National Park. From here, it's very much two wheel drive roads. Uh, it's about two or three k's along here uh, and then we turn left and it's another probably three to four k's uh, to the entrance here to Mount Barambogi. Yes that's the name. It's got a pretty well maintained access road and, and clearly they do close access uh, to the area from time to time. You can see the big gate there. Uh, if that's shut and locked you're certainly not going through there. And sections of this uh, access track were surprisingly steep, but they're all very well maintained, good traction. It's a well made gravel road. Just uh, if you were coming in here in a two wheel drive vehicle, um, it's um, probably more challenging than you're expecting. I think you get up here in a two wheel drive vehicle, um, you just might, uh, might need to work a little harder than you expect. So this is Mount Barambogi in the Chilton Mount Pilot National Park and there's the fire tower. On top there's a trick point up here as well. Not one of the highest mountains around, I think it's about 450 metres. Um, could be a little more than that. Uh, and unfortunately this fire tower isn't one of the fire towers that you can actually climb up. It is secured so it's no public access to the actual fire tower. And there's not a huge amount of views uh, from the actual area there because it is fairly well treated in. But thanks everybody for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video, just exploring our local area a little bit. And I will see you in the next video.